Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how I made this uh, broadsword um, using Blender. So let's get to it. Okay, so um, I already have this sword imported. This is a sword that I made um, for my dragon knight. and. Uh, it's kind of a good practice to have these separate um, STL files so that you can kind of like mix and match on the go. But I imported this just so that I know how big I need to make my sword so I don't have to like measure everything out. So I'm going to make it pretty much the same length, maybe a little shorter, um, but I want it to be a broad sword, so I want it to be a little wider. I want the blade to be a little wider. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to add a plane. We're going to rotate that by 90. Um, and I'm just going to scale it by 4. Um, and then we're going to apply the rotation. Edit mode. And then we're going to get rid of these vertices. And then with this, we're going to do a simple mirror modifier on the X. And yeah, let's move it down. Um, and then we're going to turn clipping on. So what clipping does is it doesn't allow you to like go through. Um, so yeah, it, it stops there. Okay. Um, so I don't want, I want the blade to be about here. And then yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna eyeball this one, okay? So I want it to be fairly thick, and then kind of taper off at the top. Maybe move this a little in. Uh, yeah, that's fine. What we're going to do is we are going to object mode. We're going to apply that. And then when we go to edit mode, we have all this. And then uh, we're going to press A to select all and then press F to fill. Okay, so now we have this. Um, and then we're just going to do an inset about there and then we're going to scale it on the x because i want this part to be kind of thin uh, let's go about here and then scale it on the z um let me maybe just move that down um yeah that's fine Um, and then we're going to do the same thing that we did on my scythe video where we just push this out um, one millimeter. Okay. And then we're pretty much done with that part. Uh, we are going to apply a mirror modifier on the Y. Turn clipping on. Uh, I do want to kind of angle this a little because I don't want it to be as thick, like two millimeters thick here, uh, like the same as here. So I do want to just angle this. So I'm going to rotate on the X uh, just slightly like that so that it's pointier up top. bottom okay and then now we apply oops, now we apply and that should be good um i do want to add um it's called a fuller where there's like an indentation um in the middle of the blade um so to do that 
we're not going to get too complicated with it. We're just going to add a cylinder. Let's move that up. And then maybe put it down here or so. And then we're just going to scale it about there. Um, then we're going to go to edit mode, base select, get this one, and then kind of scale this so that it matches up with like this blade, whatever. Okay. And then we're going to extrude it to the top and then we're going to control B to bevel. there okay and then we're just gonna difference this thing okay so what we need to do is mirror this use the blade as our object and we're gonna mirror it on the y-axis and then we're gonna go to side view let's actually go to x-ray mode and then I am rotating this on the x so that it's kind of like this and we're just going to move it so that it's like you don't want it to be like too, too thin, then the middle will disappear, but you don't want it, yeah, you don't want it to be too thick either. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take this and then take this and we're going to press different. And that seemed to have worked. So yeah, we have this like indent here, and then yeah, some of like if you've seen like real swords, sometimes they'll have like lettering down in the middle of this. Um, but we're not gonna do that, at least not today. Um and then there's this thing that kinda happens that I wanna avoid. Um you see how this is like a quad? When you export it as an STL, these are actually triangles, and sometimes it like uh, like cuts this like diagonally, and the cut actually shows up on your final like three D print. So to avoid those triangles, um. I'm just going to make a bunch of loop cuts and just put it in between. Hopefully that'll, you know, prevent that. Maybe like three or so. And yeah, I'm just going to do that. Uh, because these are quads, but they're quads because it, it makes us, uh, it makes it easier to work with, you know, when you add like loop cuts in between the quads. But in actuality, they're triangles. They're two triangles. So it's really weird. I don't know why. It has to be like that, but it is the way it is. So, okay, we're done with the blade part. So we're going to work on the, like, the hand guard. Um, and for that, we're just going to add a cube. Let's move it over here. And then we are going to mirror this on the X. And we'll use this as our object. Okay. Um, let's actually scale this on the Y by 2. Should be wide enough. And then we're going to go into x-ray mode. Uh, let's bisect so that it stops at the middle. Um, yeah. And then when we go into edit mode, um, when I select this, it's going to select the front and the back. I kind of want to, oops. kind of want to have a dip like this and then kind of uh, go back up one more. Nah, let's stop here. Okay, so this, I want to go up around there and then this one I'm just gonna move up and then out and then kind of uh, round this out hmm. 
Okay. And then let's get out of x-ray mode. Um, this is a little too like blocky. So one thing that I like to do a lot is add a subdivision surface modifier to just smooth things out. Um, but as you can see, now it looks like kind of like a hot dog, which is not what we want. Um, so to smooth it out, we want to add these loop cuts. And then the closer you get to an edge, the sharper it gets. So if you like put it all the way, you see how um, it gets like kind of flat on the side. Um, but we don't want it to be like that flat so we're just gonna do that and here i am uh just eyeballing you might want to do a mirror so that it does exactly the same thing on both like the front and the back but i'm not too worried about it so i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna eyeball this and then just do that uh, let's put one in the bottom and put one at the top and yeah, so we have this and you see how you can still see like these separate like flat flat areas. Um, I usually like to go like the more uh, levels you have, the smoother it gets. So I usually like to go to three levels and then um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. I also want it to be a little more narrower. On the outside uh, so I'm just gonna fix that right now I'm isolating this uh, let's go to top view we'll go to mm -hmm. uh, I'm just gonna scale it scale it scale it on the Y And it kind of helps looking at looking over here while you're fixing it over here uh, because there's no like lines or anything. And it, you just see it as it is. Okay. Yeah, that, that's probably. Okay, so that's the handle. Um, nope, that's the hand guard. Now we need to put in the handle. Okay, and for that, we're just gonna put a cylinder. Let's make it about that long. Um, then I'm just gonna do that subdivision surface, subdivision surface modifier again, just to kind of round this out because i want it to be a simple handle but i want it to be thicker in the middle than like the top and bottom so i'm just gonna do maybe like half of a millimeter out and then i'm gonna um, put a loop cut there and a loop cut up there somewhere and then we got this and then to smooth it out subdivision surface modifier and boom boom so now we have a little curve. Okay. And then lastly, we're going to add a, it's called a pommel. Uh, yep. And I think we're just, I guess, you know, that looks fine. I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, this is looking a little thin though, so I will uh, add a little something extra to just a mesh cylinder. Um, let's do about this. To give it a little bit more um, thickness because uh, I guess this part is so big 
you know. Um, yeah, and I think I am kind of happy with this. Yeah, yeah, and then that's, I'm, I'm calling it there. Um, it's a very simple uh, broadsword, which is what I was going for. Um, so all we need to do, we can get rid of this. Um, just A to select, oh no. Uh, some of these have modifiers, so A to select all. Control A and then visual geometry to mesh to apply all those modifiers. And then we're going to press A to select all and then union. And now our uh, sword is all combined. And uh, it's empty in the middle. Um, right, yeah. Uh, when you, yeah, when you 3D print things, you want this to not have any internal geometry. So I just hollowed it out by using the bool tool, selecting all the different parts, and then clicking union. And now we just uh, export this as an STL. Uh, where's the broadsword? Okay. So this, real quick, I just want to show you that that whole thing about the triangles. Um, so this is what it looks like when I exported it as an STL. Um, now when I import that same uh, that same STL. Um, as you can see, it's identical, right? But when I go to edit mode, it is split up into those triangles that I was talking about. Um, and this is kind of okay, and you probably can't tell, but sometimes when you um, like 3D print it out, you'll notice the, the triangle lines, I guess. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but... Yeah, you see, like right here, you can kind of see the shade of it. Um, and yeah, right here, there's a little imperfection, right? Uh, let's see if I can pinpoint it where it's, yeah. Like this should be flat, but it actually goes in here. Um, but it's not that big of a deal, so I'm not too worried about it. But uh, if I wanted to fix this, I would have probably put another, yeah, like another loop cut in between here. Um, yeah. You see, like this is flat, but when it exports, it recalculates the, the triangles. And this is what it came up with. It was like, oh yeah, this is, so now we have this like indent that we didn't want. But as you can see, you can like barely tell that it's there. So it's not a big deal because I made those um, extra loop cuts but yeah now that I know that maybe I should have made more you know like this then like this would have been yeah but I'm calling it good that's it for today I hope you like that short tutorial on how I made this uh, broadsword and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.